Warning, this video contains explicit content. You may be thoroughly entertained, educated, and inebriated. All stunts are performed by professionals. Please do not try this at home. Viewer discretion is advised. Why are you holding the chef like that, bro? It's big and black. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take you anywhere, bro. <laughs> Here we go. Belly band, butterfly valve. Here at the Hydraulic Specialist, it's gonna be an exciting day. We're gonna bring to you a repair that maybe you've seen it, maybe you've not. The BC1500 that we're gonna replace the belly band. Let me get some glasses. Sweet. Cutter drum, it's in the way of the job that we need to perform on this thing, so we need to take this roller out. Yay, we got a nutty! Houston, we have a visual. Alright, now we go to the other side. Remove those. I think I'm gonna lose this. I uh, lost my knot. Yeah. All right, we'll try it. We'll pick up my nuts later. This is gonna be our second nut that we drop in inside here that we're gonna have to retrieve later. So let's get down on those things. Okay, we got one more and we can lift this thing off. 24 millimeter socket, put it on our gun, and then we're gonna have to get a 21 inch, I mean 21 millimeter wrench. I'll be back. I'm back, and I have the right tools this time. This bolt is gonna get it, and I'm gonna give it to him. Okay, it's not coming out. Come on! You thing from hell, you is mine! There we are! <laughs> Alright guys, as the job progresses, so does the tool. With the help of my assistant, Ramon, come on, give me help, let me, uh, give me some help and then let me, uh, let's move that crane over here. Alright, ready for lift up. Now we're trying to replace this piece of metal with the new, so this hole right in here is no longer going to be a problem for us. So we're moving in kind of like in the uh, second phase of this job and uh, this is going to be removing the eight bolts that are securing the bearings on each side of the drum and we're also going to remove the uh, drive belt. So once we get all this done, then we're going to be able to pull this thing right up and get to our alleged uh, belly pan replacement. Detention our belt so that we can proceed to remove it. That one's loose. Luckily, that wasn't very good. So we do need to uh, tension it at the end of the job so that we have better tension. And I lost my knot again. Damn it. Watch your eyes! Hopefully it does what it's supposed to do and that is to remove the pulley out. There it is. There it is. 
And one more, and that will be the end of bearing bolt removal here. And then we're gonna move on to the left side of the machine. I'm going for the last bolt on this drum bearing. Hopefully we succeed at taking it off. I guess I say hopefully too much. Hopefully we cut that off. <laughs> again. I did it again. Oh man. Come on. All right, here on this side we started preparation to, or uh, preparing the belly band so that we can weld it onto the uh, drum. So we've got to kind of get ahead of the ball game here by getting Ramon here, start to grind this uh, belly band and preparing it for welding. Here we are, we finally got our drum. What is it now, two, three hours later, maybe four? But the reason why we did that is trying to get to the belly band, which is located right here. This is what we call the belly band. And with the cutter going around here and shooting the trash out, you have a lot of wear here where this is it started at 316s, now we probably have about a 16 of metal here, so we gotta put a new one in here, and it's all gonna be back to his uh, factory state. When you start cutting this with fire, you're gonna get flames everywhere. So by moving, removing all this dry material, which is all wood, it will um, get us a cleaner and maybe no fire opportunity here. So we're gonna go ahead and mark this spot with this handy dandy cutting wheel. All right, here we are, the moment we all have been, wait been, been, been waiting for. The cutting of the belly band. We got the belly band completely out, the old band out, and then these things that are gonna be put in uh, back in, or we're gonna reuse. And so now the next thing to do here, we're just gonna go ahead and grind all this area, and then take all the paint off and all the burn materials that are here, and give it a good uh, grinding so that we can have the new welds stick really nice. That's what I call dancing with the devil. If you let it go, Starts. it'll kill you right in this box. So much freaking torque. All right, so 
the next step here is going to be installing actually just setting this belly pan in that hole right there and it doesn't fit just like that because it is exact to the width of that so we're gonna have to get a porta power spread the walls open then we're gonna drop it in and then weld it all together there we are she's in I'm just gonna have to bolt it onto the bottom and get it squared away and then I can tack it TNX is where we're going or we need to get so you see it moving in there it is this one's far out so if you measure it here this one is at two inches and I go here and I'm at two and a half so this side needs to come in about half a uh, yeah about three eighths So now what I want to do is I want to pump it a little bit to see if this side comes into the X where it marks the spot here. Yeah, boy! Some coal holes. You get? Hey ho! Oh! Excuse me. I, I hope you find it in your heart to forgive me, but that feels so good, doesn't it? somewhere where it's not in the way of the other plate. We're gonna go right here. Right under here, right? And then this other one is gonna sit right over here. And then, bam, we have the sides for this thing. I wanna mark right here so that I can do a little bit of grind in here, and here, and here. Okay? Okay. There she is. Okay, so now we gotta weld this other. I like it. We call it done right there. we're done let's go home from here to here right but we never welded from here to here on this layer so I just want to go and maybe put a, uh, a head on the bottom because honestly it doesn't do much other than uh, I don't want to flop it around if they ever leave the bolts off of here this thing is gonna rattle so by putting a couple welds there then that will be an issue you capish? Capish. No more hole. You see that? She ready to go. Another day at the office. Another day at the office. We're gonna finalize, finalize this uh, brush chipper and uh, hopefully we can test it out in a few minutes. We're gonna put in some new blades, um, a bed knife. We're gonna put in the uh, chute now, and put it all back together. Now, that's we'll the only be, one uh, I don't have. You, did you find a spack up or a We finished today. I got all eight bolts in. 
We've got to nut them and tighten them. And this will be finished. Ha, there's the nut that is missing. Oh, look at that beauty. Spinning once again. Spinning beauty? Spinning beauty. If you're lucky, you can get one with the gun. Yeah, maybe not. Well, two is not bad. Now we gotta go in manually. I'm sure you used to that when we do Yes. You drive a stick shift, right? Yeah. Okay, one down, one to go. This is like a thousand pound roller. I put a finger in front of it. It'll chop it right off. So, gotta be real careful. Rum is secured. I think I'm gonna do the blades right now because it's easier to do them right now. this thing this bolts need to be torqued to 210 foot pounds foot pounds I said if you torque them or over torque them this bolt will break off the blade will come off and it'll make a freaking mess everywhere it'll take that out it'll take the shoot out and then in turn the blades come flying they go about 200 feet up in the air pieces of blade flying come down in your head and then you're dead. So make sure you torque them to 210 foot pounds. It says so on the machine right there. This is our grease, a bearing grease uh, remote line. That way uh, when they're operating they don't need to open any of it. They just uh, grease it from out here. This roll or uh, bearings, roller bearings need to be greased daily. So this just makes it easier for the uh, operator to put grease in it, which they never do, but it's there just in case they, they one day decide to grease this unit. I think I can go ahead and install the chute and then we'll talk about bed knife in a minute. Oh man, I'm telling you, once the first one goes on, there is no mercy after that. They all gonna get in. Two out of eight is not bad. Alright, one more on the bottom here and we go to the other side. There we are. You all good? Uh, I don't know. Got your finger? I got my fucking two fingers in there. And this one has got the worst. It's gonna fucking swallow up like a fucking. See the bump there? Look at that shit. Ooh. I can't 
I have my hand caught in there, I can't freaking move it out. So I had to reverse the gun and go back in there to get it to back off my fingers because it was sitting, it was clamping down like a freaking wrench, like a finger clamping wrench, dude. It went down and between the axle. Anyway, I guess I can't say now that my job is not dangerous. Right? Oh, I need a beer. The end for that part of it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set the uh, bed knife. For that, we need to open here. And this thing is full of trash. I can't spread them with all the scrap that's in here. I need a little bar to dig it in. How to tell when your bed knife is done. This is the bed knife. This is where the trees get chopped, essentially. So this one right here has lost all its sharpness. So when you put it right next to each other, you can see the gap of the metal that is missing here. You have a lot of wear on this thing. And it's kind of hard to see it, but it bumps, it bumps down on here. So when the blade comes through here, instead of being a nice clean chop, it has uh, maybe half inch gap on this side and a 3 gap on the very end, which the trash or the, uh, the mulch becomes really uh, thick and heavy. Once the mulch gets heavy and stringy, it will not flow out through the chute of this animal here so if it doesn't flow then all of this thing is going to do is it, it's going to clog up and it's not going to shoot the trash out so this is where the problem starts is when you don't have the gap right so we're going to set the gap on those blades right now should be about 3 16 between the bed knife and the blade one more time it has my face left from that angle Beautiful. Ah, glad you're enjoying it. <clears throat> there it is. Now we're far away from where we And the cheer bars. Sweet. Sweet. What are you looking at? That grease on your forehead? There's a bolt that is directly on the bottom here. It's about this long. And when you back it out with the long socket on a half inch impact, being like somewhere here, and you put it to the bolt, you back it out. And if you have your hand right here, yeah, that's a pinch point. Ask me about it, I'll let you know. We're just gonna softly tighten it so that we can get resistance and then we could move it up there. I'll come back down here and tighten it in a few minutes. I like it. Do you like it? You better like it because it's done. That is all she wrote for today. Yeah, one time I was showing a guy how to do this and took all day to put the springs on because he didn't know how to do it. 
We have threads in here. Oh yeah. Closing it up. Call it a day. You know what a sheep is? I don't either. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Yeah, we need to put this on and, and then onto this is gonna be a nice belt that in turn is gonna transfer power from the engine to the wheel and in turn make this thing spin, chop wood and spit it out through the chute. And that's gonna be incredible. Can't wait to see that. gonna come back, tension the belt, and uh, cook a couple things up. We should be able to run it. But before that, we're gonna go get lunch. I know you love that. That's how we clean up? Sort of. Sort of. Let's go, man. This is the last panel we put in here. We're gonna be uh, firing this thing up. All right, Matt, I need you to clear this area. I'm gonna have some shit flying out that way and you don't wanna be there, bro. Sweet. Here we go. <laughs> Psych. Battery is disconnected. I should have told you that. You guys seen all the press the process of replacing the uh, belly band on this thing that's a wrap this thing is finished 